channel so for this week's video I thought it would be a really fun idea to show you guys the best coffee places in Paris Paris and like France in general is known for its coffee culture Paris is a city where you can literally find a coffee place on every single corner and I'm not even exaggerating like it is a thing here I think people spend way too much time in in coffee places so I thought it would be fun to show you guys five different coffee places five really cool coffee places that you can find in Paris what I'm planning to do is to go to one coffee place each day for five days so in total I will show you guys five different coffee places I was thinking maybe I can do like two in one day I rather drink too much coffee so I think that would be just a horrible idea so we're going to stick with just one coffee place every single day and it is also very convenient because I do have some uni stuff to catch up on so I can I can get some work done and I can also enjoy a nice coffee and show you guys the places so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video before we start just please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed yet and like this video if you like it in the end thank you let's go So it is Monday now. I just thought that I would give a little bit of a feedback from that cafe place that I went on. Was it Saturday? Yes, Saturday. It is called Boot Cafe again and it is really nice. I really I really enjoyed my cafe there, but it's just so much smaller than on the pictures. Like I went in and I was literally like, is that it? Like, because it's so small, they only have two tables. So if you go in a little bit later on the afternoon, you're probably not going to have a table. But for some reason, I still really liked it. It just really had like a vibe to it. I definitely recommend it. So I think I will rate all of these cafes. So I would give, I think three stars to this cafe out of five, I think. I really like their coffee and I love the interior design and it just had a really good vibe, but it's just a really small space. So anyway, so today is Monday and we're going to go to a coffee place called Caféothèque de Paris. I saw some pictures of the interior design and it looks really cool. Also today the weather is really rainy and gloomy and I do have to study. So I think going to a cafe place is the best thing to do. So yeah, without further ado, let's go.
So I just forgot that I totally forgot to, to give you guys a little bit of a feedback from that coffee store. Actually, I didn't really understood the concept. From what I saw, it is a cafe store where you can also buy like coffee beans and, and coffee accessories and things like that but you can actually go and drink coffee there they also have some cakes so you can also eat some sweets there if you want it was a little bit confusing for me but overall i liked it it has kind of like like an 80s vibe kind of what the 80s were like um i was born in 97 so but if i would have to imagine a coffee store in the 80s this is how i would imagine it the shop is quite big it has various rooms i think it had like four different rooms or like five different rooms and it also has like a tropical room first i didn't get to sit down in the tropical room because all of the tables were taken then i just waited a little bit and then somebody left and i was like this is my chance. I would give it, I think, a four out of five. I can definitely imagine myself going back there um, one day. So, yeah, four out of five. Definitely check it out. So it is Saturday now and we are going to go to a cafe today that is called Yosi Cafe. Very close to Jardin de Luxembourg and very close to Pantheon and like the Sorbonne area. So we're going to go there today. I'm excited. I've never been there but I come here quite often because of university. So I'm supposed to really know this area but I've never been there. So yeah, we're going to go there today and yeah. bit of a recap yeah i thought i would just give a little summary of the last three cafes because i haven't really done that after i went there okay so let's start with the third one so the third one was fragments if i remember correctly this is a cafe that i've been to a couple of times before because i have one friend 
and she really loves this cafe and she goes there very often. It's close to Place de République, so it's in a really chic area. I think all of these cafes in like a really chic areas, um, but this one specifically is in a really cool area. I think it's a really, really popular cafe because every time that we went there, we had to wait a little bit before we had a free seat. It's a really small cafe, but it's really popular and you will have to probably wait a little bit if you go there to get a free table because um, yeah, there are a lot of people coming in, going out and yeah, it's a popular busy cafe, but it is for a reason. It is really good. Just to keep up the pattern, I would give it a three out of five i think i'm kind of strict i know it has a really cool vibe to it but it is really small so you will have to wait but uh other than that it's a really good cafe i really i really like it there okay so after that the fourth cafe that i went to is called josie cafe that was the first time that i went there so that was a new place to me as well things i liked about it first of all was the location because it's super close to my university it's really close to pantheon you you might see a lot of students there because it is like at the crossover of like all over the Sorbons, so I liked it, but it's a really small space. Actually, most of the cafes in Paris are very crowded. Um, people just like going to cafes here. Most of the time they're really crowded and you will have to wait to get a free table. So I think I would give it a three out of five again. Okay, so the last one that I went to was Coutume Cafe. I think this was probably my favorite or my second favorite because first of all, I've never been to this area. I'm not even really sure what's the name of this area that this cafe is located in, but I kind of felt like I was in London. I haven't been to London in a long time and I really miss London. And I don't know why, but I just kind of felt like I was in London. The reason why I said that this was probably one of my favorites is because it's huge. I mean, compared to like, most of the cafes in Paris. It has a really big and open space. Finally felt like I have some personal space between the other customers and me. Also, it's great if you wanna go to work there. You can sit down, you can work on your computer. Yeah, I really liked it. I will definitely go back. So I think for this, I would give it a 4.5, I think. Yeah, I think this was my favorite. I think this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you found it helpful and that it gave you some ideas of like cool cafe places in Paris. I know that these are crazy times and not many people are coming to Paris anymore. Hopefully everything will go back to normal um, sometime soon. Just again, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video if you liked it and I will see you soon. Bye!